Hey guys, so for today's episode I decided to show you how I edit my photos using Capture One Pro. So yeah, let's check it out. Alright guys, so I'll be showing you how to make this type of effect in your picture right here. So this is going to be a very simple retouching and uh, it's literally going to take a couple of minutes and it's going to boost your like your type of photography, trust me. So, we're going to go to Capture 1.9. I've got the picture right here, but for the sake of it, I will reset the adjustments. So, let's start. As you can see, that's that's how I started, right? So, it's a bit on uh, overexposed, but that's completely okay. First of all, I'm going to bring my exposure down around one stop. Let's bring it around minus one, maybe around there. I would say that kind of looks really cool. Then, all right. So let's start with exposure real quick. This is the most important part of the of my editing pro, uh, process. So exposure, contrast, brightness, saturation, the high dynamic range then the curves and the clarity those are my most used tools when i'm uh, editing with capture one so exposure has been taken care of now let's move to contrast let's add a little bit more of contrast and um, contrast on this picture i would say like around eight or nine brightness i'm cool with it saturation i'll bring it around there that's around minus 16 minus 17 that's okay as you can see this area right here, if we click on this button right here, this is going to show us which parts are over or underexposed. As you can see like this wall right here is completely overexposed. So I'm going to go to my high dynamic range tab and I'm going to bring my highlight level up. And I'm going to make those highlights go low. Let's check how sharp this image is. There we go, in my case, like the model's face is the most important part and that is actually focus, so let's continue. So now we've taken care of exposure, contrast, my brightness is, I'm actually quite okay with it. My saturation, I really like the way it looks right now. My uh, dynamic range, I'm pretty happy with how it looks uh, now. So I'm going to add some extra contrast with my curves. I'm going to add this little point right here. I'm going to bring it like just eyeball it real quick. Just a tiny bit um, down, maybe a little bit less. And this I'll bring a hair up. Maybe that's way too much in here. There we go. And um, there we go. That kind of, that looks really cool. So let's double check if. Uh, my exposure is a little bit off in here, so if I bring this up, there we go. Alright, so as you can see that literally took a couple of minutes. Exposure, dynamic range, curves, and now we're going to clarity. Uh, this picture has a lot going on, so if I go crazy with the clarity, you're going to start getting something like very HDR-like and you just don't like that, that looks disgusting. So. That's, uh, I'm going to keep it very low and minimal. I'll keep it on nine. Then my structure, I'm going to keep it around 40. And uh, that looks good. Yeah, that looks good, I'd say. So there's something very important here, right? Like as you can see, like this is like a very nice spot, but I want my eyes to direct to my model right here in this corner, so. At this moment she's looking all dark and like there's a couple of things like that I'm not entirely happy about. So now that we're finished with this, I'm going to go to this tab right here. So we're going to grab the fourth one, which is the straighten tool. So what this is going to do is like we're going to draw a line. Like in my case, I'm lucky enough that I've got this line. So I feel like the picture is not entirely straight. So I'm going to draw this real quick. And um, there we go. All right, so now that we've got that, I'm going to crop it because to be honest, like there are a couple of things that are really calling my attention in a negative way. So 
I'm going to go to this tab right here, which is the crop tool. And here's your ratio, right? So you've got like different presets, if you will. I'm going to grab the four, uh, four, five, four times five, if you will. Then I'm going to go to crop or just press the, the C on your keyboard. So I'm just going to drag this and automatically this is going to bring it like this. Alright, this is looking already way better. So what I'm going to do right now is, I, like I said earlier, like my main point of attention is going to be my model right here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint. So let me, oops, let me just press my H for a hold and then I'm going to double click. Whoops, there we go. So as you can see, it's way, way too dark. So what I'm going to do is like, I'm going to, to go to this tab right here, which is my local adjustments tab. I'm going to click on this brush, the plus button, and then this is going to bring a new layer. So I'm going to bring this exposure up, at least a full stop, just to like, you can go bananas with this, you can change it down the road, and then just start painting all over the interesting parts like what you want to be seen of course not every single picture is uh it's the same but in principle like you can use exactly the same tool to bring some subject to call more attention right so as you can see we went from this to this it might be way too bright so let me take it down a bit let me remove the shadows a bit Let's see how that looks like. There we go. Looks really good. Let's press that H command right there. And uh, there we go. I'm still not that happy with this right here. In my opinion, that looks way too bright. So I'm going to create a second layer, bring my highlights level, and then get my brush tool. And just, oops, maybe I'm a bit bigger. There we go, and just brush it. Don't worry, like I know that doesn't look very good right now, but you don't have to worry about that. There we go. See, like, it's a subtle change, but it does make a difference. Um, one one other thing that I'm going to do is like that blue from the pool looks really cool so I'm going to add a third layer and I'm maybe going to try it like this is like a trial and error guys like just give everything a try in my case I think I'm going to bring the, the, the saturation a bit up and um, if it looks like crap you know like I'm going to change it or delete the layer but might look kind of cool actually. There we go. Like I said, like I'm doing this really quickly for the sake of this tutorial, but uh, by all means, take your time. There we go. And that actually is a very, very subtle difference, but it's right there. And uh, there you have it. Those are going to be my basic changes. And now we are going to add some sharpness and some noise. We're going to go to our um, details tool right here. And this is going to bring the sharpening tool and the film grain tool, which I'm about to use. Let's see the sharpness. I would say I'm pretty happy with it, but if this is for social media, like Facebook or Instagram, like sometimes they like to compress the size of images. So I like to add a little bit more of a amount of sharpening. Please just don't go crazy with it. And um, film grain. I usually like to use the soft grain and I like to keep it between 20 and 30. So here we go. Let's see, that looks really cool in my opinion. And now the last step is I'm going to, to add a little bit of a blue tint into my shadows. So I'm going to go to my uh, color right there, 
which is the third tab, I'm going to go to the shadow section right here and I'm going to bring this, like you can play as much as you want. I usually don't like to bring it all the way here. I like it to be very subtle. So I would say somewhere around there. And even if, like for this picture, I think it will kind of look if I give it a little bit of that faded film look type of look. So I'm going to bring this up just a hair. And uh, there we go. That is absolutely it. So let's see the vignette in on this image. Do I need it? Maybe just a hair. Maybe literally just the hair. Uh, just to recap, I changed the exposure, the contrast, and my saturation. I brought it down and I might... There we go. I think I like that one a little bit better. Minus 20... There you go. Minus 23. That looks really cool, actually. So, then I added a tiny bit of a curve. My clarity, please do not go nuts with the clarity nor, nor the structure, like I would say like 30 would be the max to go with. And then uh, sharpness, I added some sharpness, some uh, soft grain, and then I added a couple of layers of uh, local adjustments. So there you have it, now all we have to do is like go to the, um, to the export part, and now we are going, like I usually like to export in JPEG if it's for social media, 100% and 300 pixels per inch. So we're going to go ahead and click process and I'm going to show you real quick something very, very cool. But that's my website, by the way, go check it out. It has very kick ass pictures. And um, all right, so here's my picture, right? If I click on information real quick, that is 18.3 megabytes though, which for social media, that's massive. So I'm going to show you a software that not a lot of people know that, trust me, if you give it a try, you're going to love it. I'm going to leave the, the, the link in the description down below. I think you get the first, um, I think like a hundred pictures or something like that for free. And then it's really, really affordable it's, and it's really amazing. What it does is compresses your pictures without uh, losing the, um, all the details. So the name of the software is JPEG Mini. And it looks like that. So pay attention to this info box right here. As you can see, it's 18.3. Look at the magic happening. I'm going to bring it and then it becomes suddenly a five megabyte file. Let's check the, let's check out the, you know what, let me open it properly so you can see it. All right, so as you can see, the quality is right there. It's incredible. I still don't understand how that works, but I'm a big, big fan. So there you have it, a very simple, way of retouching your pictures with a uh, Capture One Pro. All right guys, so there you have it. That was a very, very simple way of retouching your pictures with a uh, Capture One Pro. Um, you can go ahead and try with Lightroom, but to be honest, like I used to be a big Lightroom fan and someone actually introduced me to Capture One and after I tried it, I, I was hooked. So I strongly advise you to give, it, to give it a try though. I think like you get like a month for free, uh, a trial and um, Seriously, like at first it's, it's a bit tricky, but once you get a grasp of it, it's actually really, really cool. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comment section down below. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time.